is Senna. Senna is 14 years old, and she's one of the nine girls featured in Girl Rising, a groundbreaking documentary film about what happens when girls and education collide. Senna grew up in a Peruvian mining town, La Rinconada. Her father, a miner, died not long after his mine collapsed, and her family struggled through abject poverty. But Senna's a fighter. She found a job working in the public toilets to help support her family, and she found her voice through that courage. Now she's a poet, thriving in school with dreams of becoming an engineer. The poem you're looking at is hers. Senna is inspiration. Last year, I was inspired. I had the chance to work, first as an intern, and later as a full-time team member with the Girl Rising Social Action Campaign. I had the chance to listen to moving stories from people around the world, motivated by Senna and the other girls in Girl Rising, to speak up about their own lives and to help raise awareness about the importance of education for all. While Girl Rising is perhaps best known as a documentary film highlighting the importance of girls' education through the stories of nine girls from nine developing nations, I realized pretty early on in my work that it isn't just a film. It's part of something much larger. Girl Rising started with a research question, how can we end world poverty? And it has since grown from one potential solution to that question, girls' education, into a film, a social action campaign, and now a fully-fledged grassroots movement to change policy from the ground up. How has this happened? Well, I would really argue through inspiration. While a large part of my work meant reaching out to networks and arranging screenings, I also had the chance to write about the movement and to speak at schools. To see the film in action through a camera lens trained on the youth I interviewed afterwards, I asked them, what does Girl Rising mean to you? Josh was one of the students I met. He's 14 years old and he's from Australia. We met at a UN Youth Assembly Conference in New York to celebrate the birthday of Malala Yousafzai. He was there with his mom, raising awareness for Room to Read, a nonprofit organization which works in developing nations to improve youth literacy rates. Josh saw Girl Rising and decided he had to act. He was inspired by the stories in the film. He felt grateful for his own education and wanted to turn that gratitude into something more. Since then, he's become a Girl Rising regional ambassador, spreading the message about the importance of universal education far and wide. His school was featured on Diane Sawyer's special with Malala Yousafzai, and he made a short animated video highlighting girls' education statistics, which was picked up by both Room to Read Australia and UNICEF Australia. Not only has Josh galvanized people across his community to support the Girl Rising movement, but together with his family, he's raised $40,000 for Room to Read, enough to build two libraries, including one currently in progress in Cambodia. Josh is the Girl Rising movement. So, Girl Rising went from being a research question to a film, a strategy, a social action campaign, and now a grassroots movement and platform for change. There is power in media and the moving image. We live it every day. As a budding anthropologist, I was skeptical at first about a media-driven social action campaign, and one partnered with big-name NGOs and high-profile Hollywood actors. NGOs are often criticized for being Western-centric, for being overly bureaucratic and inefficient. And I was disillusioned by the decision to feature mainstream celebrity voices. But the more I got to know the campaign, the more I realized that Girl Rising's NGO partnerships have been thoughtfully soldered to ensure that the message in the film and the funds it generates really do filter through to girls on the ground. And it hit me that any true story about a 14-year-old girl who can push through adversity with the same strength as Senna should be told as compellingly as possible to inspire other people to put their lives into perspective, to make every moment count. It's true. 
But as with any global cause, there are constant questions. There's the inherent instinct to ask how and why, and is it even possible? But I guess what really struck me over the nine months I spent working with the Girl Rising team is that Girl Rising isn't about giving the answers. It's about framing the questions and connecting people around the world through an inspired dialogue about what change could mean. If Girl Rising does something well, it encourages people to listen and see. And it does this through inspirational audiovisual storytelling. At every screening I went to, that inspired me. I heard people talk about gratitude and empathy and inspiration. I saw them question the movement and in some cases argue against it. Why girls? Isn't that sexist? In the end, regardless of their reactions, I heard everyone say about one girl in the film, wow, because the stories of the girls aren't about gender. They're about the strength of the human spirit. Is girls' education the solution? Will girls' education reverse world poverty? What does that even mean? I would say it means we need, need more people thinking through and asking that question. It means we need to bring documentary media into that process because of its power to raise awareness, drive dialogue, and ignite action. Because of its power to inspire. And if education is the ticket to asking that question, and other questions like it, then shouldn't we all have the chance, regardless of gender? I guess I would say, let's work together, girls and boys, men and women. Because after everything I saw with the Girl Rising team, I really do believe that the world can change. Not suddenly or dramatically, but bit by bit through a ripple effect of positive inspired actions. But then, Senna says it best. <laughs>